Hello everyone, welcome to Wrath of Math. I'm your host, Sean Ian. In today's video, we're going to be answering the question, what is an altitude of a triangle? I say an as opposed to the because every triangle has three altitudes. So let's get into it. You might have an idea of what an altitude looks like, but uh, perhaps you don't know exactly what defines an altitude. So let's consider this acute triangle right here. It's got three altitudes, and I'm gonna draw one right now. Let me draw it in a different color. I'll draw it in pink. So this is the altitude, or a altitude, excuse me. So as you can see, it starts at this vertex of the triangle and is perpendicular to the opposite side. And so that's pretty close to your definition of an altitude. So let's take a look at one more, or another one, and I'll, I'll give you a definition. And this is gonna be an obtuse triangle. Uh, something like that. I'm not the best artist in the world. Okay, that'll do it. So an altitude of a triangle is simply a line segment that has one endpoint on a vertex of the triangle and the other endpoint on the opposite base such that the created segment is perpendicular. And it won't always be on the opposite base. So uh, specify uh, not only can the point, uh, the other endpoint of the altitude be on the opposite base as it is here, but sometimes it might land on the line containing the base. So if we look at an acute triangle like we did here, every altitude uh, is going to be inside of the triangle unless your acute triangle is a right triangle. Uh, we'll look at that case in just a moment, but let's take a look at an obtuse triangle first. So in an obtuse triangle, um, the altitude which uh, has one end point on the obtuse angle is going, that altitude is going to land inside the triangle, as you can see there. So, like I said, we'll just talk about that definition one more time. Um, an altitude of a triangle is a segment such that one end point is on one vertex of the triangle and the other end point is on the opposite base such that the created segment is perpendicular. So when you draw an altitude from here to here, that's called uh, dropping the altitude. So if this is A, B, C, um, you would drop the altitude from A to line segment B, C, or side B, C. The altitude uh, has a length, which is the height of the triangle. Uh, you might call it the height, you might just call it the altitude, um, and that's why you need it to find the area of triangles, one half base times height. This would be your height, and if this is your altitude, then this is your base, because your base um, is the side opposite this vertex of the triangle, because that's where you're dropping your altitude from. But if we draw the altitude from this endpoint over here, this vertex, you can see, well, let's first extend this segment. I'm going to rotate the paper. Don't do that often. Going to rotate, excuse me, going to extend this side with a dotted line, something like, oh boy, that's curving off. <laughs> something like that. It's a little kind of bad. But so then we want to drop the altitude from B, from vertex B uh, down to the line containing side CA. So that's going to be something like like that. So you can see in an obtuse triangle, if we're dropping the altitude from an acute angle, it's going to land outside the triangle and intersect the line containing the uh, opposite side. Now let's look at the other one. So this acute angle over here, and we will have to extend this side again. Try to do a better job this time. Yeah, that's better. All right, and then we drop the altitude from C such that it is perpendicular to uh, this line here. So I think that's gonna look something like this. And so there's your altitude. So depending on what altitude you use, uh, you have to pick the corresponding base if you wanna find the area of a triangle. So if this is your height, um, then this is your base. If this is your height, then this is your base. And if this is your height, then this is your base. So keep that stuff in mind and uh, let's look at an isosceles triangle because there's a couple things to mention there and then we'll look at a right triangle real quick. So in, a, in an isosceles triangle, let's say that looks pretty isosceles. So this side's congruent to this side. In an isosceles triangle, the altitude with an endpoint 
adjacent to the two congruent sides, so this altitude here, it bisects this angle, so this angle and this angle are congruent, and it bisects this side, so this is congruent to that. So that's important. Uh, the altitude in an isosceles triangle that has an endpoint adjacent to the two congruent angles cuts the isosceles triangle into two congruent right triangles uh, by side angle side or you know angle angle side you could use a, a few uh, postulates there to show that and now let's just look at the right triangle so if you drop an altitude from either of these acute angles you can see that the altitude is the side so if this is a b c uh, side AB is the altitude that's perpendicular to base CB and uh, side CB is the altitude perpendicular to base AB. Um, so in this case, instead of the altitude landing inside the triangle or outside the triangle, it lands on the triangle, on the edge. So, so that's interesting. And then um, if you draw an altitude from the right angle, of course, that's going to uh, fall inside the uh, inside the triangle so I hope that that brief lesson on uh, altitudes of triangles uh, helped you out if you want to know more about altitudes in general or altitudes of other shapes do let me know let me know if there's anything I can clear up in the comments uh, but I hope that helped and uh, if you have any particular questions for other topics do let me know because I would like to uh, to serve your needs uh, those of you who are watching as far as what you need to know for math topics but for now I'll just keep going on about the stuff I feel like going on about hope that helped I'll see you next time be sure to subscribe for the swankiest math videos on the internet